everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Just a Fun Guy, and if you've watched my channel before, and you've seen me do open RCT2, you'll know in great uh, tradition, I do this thing called depuckification. I get the cheats out, and I basically make the park look like what it looks like before it became a park. This time lapse you're watching is me doing the same exact depuckification, but without the cheats. No cheats whatsoever. I, I didn't add money, I didn't own all land, and I didn't make my guests explode or disappear. I did use a lot of the cool features that OpenRC2 2 has to offer that the regular game didn't. But in the end, I'm glad I used the uh, cheats that, not the cheats, but uh, the uh, things that were uh, available, like uh, being able to delete the footpath with the scenery deleter. That really cut my, uh, it cut my uh, uh, time lapse down in half. Originally, if I was to do it without any of the features that OpenRCT2 has to offer, it takes usually about an hour, hour and a half. This took me 49 minutes. It won't be 49 minutes to do because it's going to be sped up uh, to 12 times speed. <clears throat> but, whatever. While this uh, time lapse plays, it's going to be have some music around it while I finish it up and stop talking. And before I do that, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be playing around with something called Sandbox Mode. I'll show you what Sandbox Mode is when I'm finished uh, with the time lapse here. And just to give you a sneak peek, it's kind of like Scenario Editor. If you don't know what that is, you, the Scenario Editor is, well, you can make it basically make a park from scratch. But, uh, I'll show you what you can do in just a few minutes here.
Now that I'm finished with the first step of my departification process, second step and the third step revolve sandbox mode and digging into the cheats. Well, first, I'm gonna own all land. And I'm going to paint it all green. That's the first step of part two. Of course, now I have to go back into the cheats and add no money because money is expensive. But if you think about it, that's pretty damn true. Step two of part two. Make the land as flat as possible. This requires just a little encouragement here. And I think it'll be easier to uh, start with the mountains. It is called Six Flags of Magic Mountain, but after this step, step. Three. All right. Now that the land is totally flat, that's where sandbox world comes in for step three. It's already been enabled, and without sandbox mode, I wouldn't be able to get rid of this footpath or any of this. So let's go get rid of all this footpath. And this footpath and scenery. I could even get rid of the park entrances to make it like before, before the park. Let's own our land again. And it looks like this is 100% a sandbox mode. But to really make it look like it, let's go into the maps. And do this. Bada boom, bada bang. You wouldn't even know there was a park here. Well, that's sandbox mode, everybody. And uh, maybe my next Open R62 episode will be exploring the options and a whole bunch of extras that I found. If you want to see that, let me know down below. Till next time, my name is Mr. Fungi. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon. And, uh, if you like what you see, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.